has said, and I quote, as the new building of India's parliament is inaugurated, our hearts and minds are filled with pride, hope and promise. May this iconic building be a cradle of empowerment, igniting dreams and nurturing them into reality. May it propel our great nation to new heights of progress. So that's the Prime Minister uh, tweeting just moments ago after inaugurating the new parliament building, after installing the Singol right next to the speaker's chair. The Prime Minister has just tweeted, and I'm quoting from it, as the new building of India's parliament is inaugurated, our hearts and minds are filled with pride, hope and promise. May this iconic building be a cradle of empowerment, igniting dreams and nurturing them into reality. May it propel our great nation into new heights of progress. Maria Shakil is on the phone line with us. Uh, so, Maria, uh, I think the Prime Minister capturing the emotion that's being felt by uh, a billion plus Indians that this is a moment of hope and pride and promise. And may this building take us uh, and empower uh, the citizens of this country and ignite their dreams and turn them into reality. Yes, and interestingly, the Prime Minister has put out the same tweet in Hindi as well. And the choice of words, again, is very reflection of uh, what he says is, is the mood of India right now. As, as the entire country is looking towards the parliament and the world is looking towards India. He goes on to say, Aaj ka din, hum sabhi ke liye, uh, hai. Basically, that you can't really believe, you can't really imagine what it means to be an Indian today. Sansit ka naya bhavan, hum sabhi ko garv aur umeedon se bhar dene wala hai. मुझे पूर्ण विश्वास है कि ये दिव्य और भव्य इमारत जनजन के सशक्तिकरण के साथ ही राष्ट्र को समृद्धि और स्वास्थ्य के रास्ते पर ले जाएगी। So I think that that, that mood, that this is what it means for India, is something that the Prime Minister has said. Those are the images that he, that he has put out in which he is carrying the Sengol and uh, you know walking with the Sengol and installing it next to the Speaker's chair. And then saying, may this iconic building be a cradle of empowerment, igniting dreams and nurturing them into reality. May it propel our great nation to new heights of progress. And then he has also tweeted about the monkey bath, which is going to begin in 30 minutes. And we should be prepared for what he thinks uh, made the government go, uh, you know, go in for this kind of a massive structure being built. Despite all the you know criticism that came its way, Zaka, I think uh, this, the moment will be that. And at 1 p.m. when Prime Minister gives his first speech inside the parliament, it is going to be a historic moment for each and every Indian. Uh, just walk us through, you know, what is expected next, uh, because today is also Savarkar Jayanti. I believe there is floral tributes that are being uh, paid to Veer Savarkar. There is the monkey bath, because today is the last Sunday of uh, this month. Uh, and after that, at 12 o'clock, the formal function uh, will begin. Yes, that's right, because at 11 a.m. is when the monkey bath address of the Prime Minister will be uh, put on air, which will, uh, you know, which is obviously recorded, but it gives us a sense of what the Prime Minister is thinking today, because it's a historic day, his big message as he communicates with Indians. Um, and then around 11, 11.30 is when the dignitaries, the members of parliament will start arriving uh, for the ceremony, which is essentially that there'll be messages that will be read of the vice president, uh, the leader of the opposition, and and then uh, around, uh, you know, the BJP MPs have been told to be particularly present for um, the unveiling of the photograph of uh, Veer Savarkar and uh, the floral tribute being, uh, uh, you know, given to him. Uh, but the big message, again, as I've been saying, I think will be coming at 1 p.m., which will be setting the tone of what Prime Minister is thinking. Because I remember very distinctly, Zaka, when Prime Minister Narendra Modi entered as a member of parliament for the first time, uh, he, he had so much to say about his vision of, for India. And when he addressed the joint uh, session of parliament, when all the MPs, largely the MPs of parliament were present, the BJP MPs were present, he gave a roadmap as to what he thinks will be happening going forward. So that happened in 2014, it happened in 2019. And now is one of those moments where the Prime Minister will be talking about the next 25 years. We have heard that from the ramparts, uh, you know, of, 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 of uh, in, you know, uh, on 15th of August. But I think the roadmap that the Prime Minister will be laying forward for the rest of the, uh, the country will be something that we'll be hearing at 1.15 when the Prime Minister speaks to the nation.